welcome back to my channel if you want to know how to get this brown smoky eyed look then keep watching so we're going to be starting with the eyes before we're doing anything and priming them with benefit air patrol um, so you want to prime that all over the um, eyelid then I'm going to be going in with creme brulee um, and just doing that on the outer crease of the eye this is so nice, such a nice colour, it's from Makeup Geek and I love their shades. Then from the Morphe palette, I'm going to be going with this colour here. Um, it's just like a light brownish colour, you can use any colour similar to this. And then I'm just going to be going underneath that creme brulee colour that we've put on. Um, so just um, on the kind of inner crease part. And then with Coco Bear from Makeup Geek, I'm going to be going all over the eyelid. Then going in with a darker brown shade, this is the colour I went with from the Morphe palette. I'm just going to be going over Cocoa Bear. This is just going to deepen up that shade, not give it such a chocolatey colour. We want it to be a bit more darker than that. Then I'm going in with Cocoa Bear and Creme Brulee mixed together and just blending all of that together. With a clean blending brush, you want to just pull all of that together by uh, blending it all out. Then with Mirage from Makeup Geek, I'm going to be highlighting under the brow. Then with the Garnier Micellar Water, I'm not sure how this is pronounced, um, but I went in and cleaned it up under the eye. Then I'm using this e.l.f. Um, eyeliner, another new eyeliner that I'm trying out. So this is again, is just like a, for the first time that I've used it. I actually quite like it. Again, a very thin uh, applicator, but that's what we're working with. House of Lashes in Boudoir and Elf 3-in-1 Mascara is what I applied for, at, to my lashes. And I find applying lashes quite easy now. Applying the Body Shop Moisturiser first and then going in with the Nivea Men as a primer. Um, I'm going to apply that all over the face. Um, I've got quite a few blemishes at the moment, so I just want to take this moment to tell everyone that if you have blemishes, make sure you drink plenty of water. This is going to help you out so much. Um, it helps me out. So, um, to hide these blemishes, I'm going in with this Revolution Corrector Palette. I love this palette because you get so many colours and you kind of get more than um, one shade. So, you get, I'm using the green to cover up the red spots, blemishes and whatnot. And then you've got the two orange shades here. I'm going in with just one and applying that underneath the eyes to hide any dark circles. You can also use the purple shade in this palette to hide any um, other redness or any blemishes as well. I'm going to be blending this out with this beauty sponge from uh, B Cosmetics. I am loving this sponge at the moment. Um, I always blend out the orange shades first and then go on to the green because I don't want it to kind of mix together. Then for foundation, my favourite L'Oreal True Match and the Vanshee Trawlers Foundation brush and just applying that and we're just going to blend, blend, blend. For concealer, I've gone in with MAC um, Select Cover Up, love this concealer, it's got a slight pink undertone to it, so it really does hide those uh, under eye uh, circles, bags, anything like that. Just applying this with a concealer brush, 
and blending it out with the beauty sponge again. This beauty sponge is just so lovely. I'm really loving it. This was the first time I've used it, but I've been using it every day since. To set everything, I'm going in with the Kardashian Beauty Powder, just to set everything. For contour, I'm going in with the Makeup Geek Contour shade Complicated, and I'm going to make that harsh line with this Elf Contour brush and then blending that out with this Vanshee contour brush which is my favourite way of contouring at the moment. I'm going to be going in with a light powder shade and pressing that underneath the contour just to kind of make it a bit harsher after I've blended it out um, and I'm using the Vanshee uh, contour brush for this as well. For blush, I'm going in with this colour here from the Morphe palette and just applying that on the apples of the cheeks. To finish off the eyes, I'm going in with a flat brush and just applying some of the brown shades underneath the eyes. Then I'm going to be going in with MAC eyeliner and just only quarter of the way lining my eyes, so a quarter of the bottom and a quarter of the top of the eye as well. Okay, and that completes this look. So I finished off this look with a mixture of lip products. Um, I went in with Max Spice and NYX in Cappuccino for the lip liners. And then for the um, color of the lips, I mixed MUA um, Tranquility Liquid Lipstick and then the NYX Brown Lipstick. And this is in MLS21. Um, I think that's the name of it. Otherwise, it's Butterbeer. Butterbeer? So yeah, so I mixed this one um, over the top and then just dabbed a little bit of gloss as well because they were quite drying. Um, but yeah, so if you want to know exactly how I got these lips, then I've just created a lip tutorial on how to get fuller lips. So I will link that down below for you. Um, but yeah, apart from that, I would love to see your interpretations of this look. So please hashtag Chrissy's blogs or um, feel free to tweet me your looks um, over on my Twitter. Um, all my details are down below. So just take a look down there. And um, yeah, and then I don't think there's much more to say. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Until next time, bye. Settle down, mess around, can't you see me now?